there are some amazing racing games coming out this year and the hits keep continuing with Hot Wheels Unleashed. This is a new game coming out on many platforms, PlayStation, Switch, Xbox Series S and X. And in today's video, I'm taking a look at this new racing game. I wanted to cover this game. I heard about it and it looked fantastic. I reached out to the company and they sent me a review code. I am gonna be playing it today on the Xbox Series X and wanna share some basic gameplay elements and give you my thoughts about it. So sit back, relax. You may wanna grab some popcorn. Here we go. I saw a trailer for this game and I was really excited. And this is done by Milestone. They're most known for MotoGP games. And so the big kind of catch with this game is that you can unlock over 60 different Hot Wheels cars. Some of them are licensed like a Turtles van, Knight Rider, but you get three random vehicles when you first start this game. And so this is what I got. Um, I like that one. That one looks fast. I'll probably choose that one. And so there's various different vehicles. You can upgrade them with in-game currency. I thought that was cool. You also can unlock additional cars with in-game currency. And so there is DLC and season pass. I'm not going to mess with that. This is a basement. You can kind of create your own basement. I thought that was kind of neat. There's also a track editor. I'm not going to really focus my discussion in this video on that i'm really just going to show you how it races this is the main part of the game the city rumble and you can unlock different tracks you, it's essentially your career mode where you race you win races you get in-game currency where you can upgrade your vehicle or purchase addition additional cars and so that's kind of cool I, I like I like that setup because you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. And so here's the actual game. Um, there is online and offline multiplayer split screen offline as well. I love that. Really looks great on the Xbox Series X. And so the the, the general gameplay is a lot like Cruising Blast that I just played. There's drifting involved in the drifting. Uh, recharges your your turbo and that's really how you're gonna win races uh, the physics in this game is is kind of loose so your car can go flying everywhere so uh, it, there is some skill uh, in winning a race and so I found it I found it to be uh, challenge wise uh, pretty decent and so I'm not the best racer but I like these kind of arcade style racers uh, there is other modes too you can just pick up and play you know, as a boy in the 80s, it was kind of a rite of passage to play with Hot Wheels cars. And I, you know, I really love what they've done in this, capturing that kind of nostalgia. Uh, it really looks excellent. But this is definitely a meaty racer. There's a lot of skill here. I really like the track design. Um, the one thing I did notice, though, is your car will go flying. And so if you're going really fast off a jump, you, you can... Uh, adjust how a car lands and so that really can make or break winning a, uh, a race if you do not handle that landing uh, when you're going off a jump or something because your car will go flying he says are these are toy cars and it, and it moves as such and so I really like the turbo where you recharge by drifting uh, there's there's various things on the track where you can we can go over and it'll speed your car up I think Milestone did a good job. You know, I really was kind of thrown back to my childhood. Of, you know, in our heads, I know that we made race tracks like this. Uh, you know, now these days you can just make it. And so having that um, ability to race with some of your favorite cars or even just Hot Wheels in general is pretty neat. And, and really, this is, this is a well done licensed racer. You know, I really like these types of racing games where, you know, uh, it's it's a mix of fun arcade, but there is some depth to it So you can unlock different tracks here and you win things when you get first place Okay, and you definitely have to find the right cars for the right tracks and Upgrade them when you can if you get a double like so say like in your blind box you get a double you can you can actually uh, uh, 
break that down into parts which you can upgrade your cars. I really like that because one of the first blind boxes I got was a double and I was like, oh. Here's another track. I really just wanted to show gameplay of an actual race. As you know, some of the other stuff's cool. If you're into track editing, uh, knock yourself out. I didn't really mess with it at all, but uh, definitely th there's that aspect of making tracks. And so that that's, that's a neat feature when uh, a game offers that. And so, yes, uh, really the drift, uh, mastering that is really gonna help you succeed in racing in this game. And so I chose this toy car because it was fast. And so every track has its uh, obstacles and challenges. This one had a, a lot of uh, straightways, so I thought I'd use this one as it was uh, taking advantage of its fast speed. Um, and so definitely you feel like you're going really fast in this game too. I, I love, you know, how it captures Hot Wheels. You know, I played with a lot of Hot Wheels. I think every young kid or many young kids, uh, of especially the 80s, uh, grew up with Hot Wheels. No, Hot Wheels has been around a lot longer than that, but but you know playing with Hot Wheels and having my favorites you know and sliding them across the floor or you know in my head making some crazy track like this you know or making my own track using boxes and and various things at home I love the loop here by the way and so it's really really neat what they're doing here I think it's this well done licensed game um, you know there's gonna be DLC and there's gonna be uh, season pass and there's gonna be extra vehicles being offered and so people may have opinions of that good or bad but you know I still think this is a good racer and there's enough content here in this game to make it a, a solid option especially for Christmas coming up there is a collector's edition that comes with an actual Hot Wheels I, I'm sure there's various other uh, packages as well Hot Wheels is kind of known for variants and uh, just looking online it looks like there's several different uh, options for picking this up and so uh, there is a, uh, a physical edition, I do believe, for at least Switch and Xbox that comes with a Hot Wheels car, probably PlayStation 4 as well. So, so yes, uh, that's, you know, from what I've played so far, pretty, pretty solid. Um, is it my favorite racer? I don't know about that. You know, there's various things about it that probably need to be tweaked. I've heard online that online has some balance issues with various cars, uh, everybody choosing the same car to win, but I'm sure they're going to fix that. I didn't mess too much at all with the online play. I really like that you can unlock different tracks, but yeah, I found it pretty easy to get knocked off. That's the big challenge here. I had several races that I did that, and when that happens, it's pretty tough to win first place, at least uh, for an entry level racer. Um, sometimes I didn't make jumps and that happened. I had to reset, but you know, uh, you know, for skilled racers, that's not going to be a big issue. You just have to learn pattern memorization of each track. And once you play it over and over again, most people are going to be okay. Uh, for, for some kids, younger kids playing this game, that might be an issue they might get frustrated because they they lose but that's where the track editor comes in handy as you can create maybe an easier track for younger kids or if you want to just make something crazy for a friend to try uh, I, I really think that's a neat option i always love when a company makes a game and offers a way to customize your own tracks it's pretty neat you can unlock additional pieces in the career mode as you can uh, get different pieces to make more elaborate tracks. I didn't mess with it too much. Uh, it looks pretty in depth, but it's here for those that want to tinker. Overall, I think Hot Wheels Unleash is a solid package and will appeal to many gamers. Man, what a fun racing game. I am enjoying this quite a bit. I definitely am going to be playing it with my kids. This is going to be a huge hit, I think, this holidays. It is on physical. It is uh, going to be on many platforms. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S, X, Switch, and PC. You pick your platform and enjoy it. And as always, thank you for the ongoing support. If you like what you see and you're new to the channel, you may want to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. 
You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a great day.